It has a few pop punk vibes. It also has like a few folky sound, uh, which actually that comes from listening to Tony's Lie almost every day. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to The Road So Far, um, I guess it's, and it's the third episode and we're going to be talking about Space Travel. Um, Space Travel was the first single I ever released and it was released on July 11th, something like this, 2018. And Space Travel was actually one of the first songs ever written for the album before it had any like context or any story behind it. I just Grab the pen and start writing about a guy who travels. Um, with, it's not actually a space travel. He doesn't grab like a rocket ship and go fly into space. It's actually about a, a travel inside yourself. It's actually taking a, a trip to memory lane or and deciding to maybe go away for a while or forever and leave everything behind that's been struggling with you and just start going with the flow or start making your own dreams. Even though you have decided on this friendly life, you're still carrying like all the baggage and all the anxiety and depression you were carrying before in, in your past life. And travel is about to forget everything and to, to just go away and be who you really want to be. Not exactly who they want you to be or who the man wants you to be, but just go ahead and make whatever <laughs> do whatever you want with your life. That's actually what space travel is about. The funny thing about space travel is that when we were recording it, I mean, there was a demo, which was very different. And when we were recording it in, in the studio, I asked him before going into the studio, actually, do you really think that this pop-punk pop, pop song would actually be a hit? I mean, I'm not saying Space Travel is actually a hit, but <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. It has a few pop punk vibes, it also has like a few folky sound, uh, which actually that comes from listening to Tony's Lie almost every day. <laughs> so I decided to change it. And he was, he told me, are you sure you want to make this like an EDM song? Because it's, it's really crowded. <laughs> and and I, I answered, yeah, because pop punk is so mainstream these days and he just laughed and we just went on with it and it would, yeah basically space travel became just an EDM song I mean it has a break it has a like a rise up it has like a sick hook it has like everything that makes a, an EDM song great you know also space travel was the first time I did a lyric video I mean I had a few uh, video editing knowledge before but I've never like made a lyric video before so I, I tried using Nick's out, which I just I, I wanted to be you wanted I wanted to be like the parents from Chainsmokers, where you just the text just move and there's a background and everything. And I tried two different techniques, which was like writing everything on a paper, moving in front of the camera, and just lower the opacity. But the thing is, I suck at handwriting. My handwriting has always been horrible ever since I was in elementary school. I took writing classes and stylish uh, styling classes but my writing just sucks so I said no I gotta do it um, computer based I did some research on YouTube and learned how to do it and it actually came really well that video I mean it's, it's the most viewed video on, on YouTube for for me and played it live there's actually like a hundred versions of the live version of Space Travel uh, there's the looper version, there's the acoustic version, there's the original version, but acoustic, there's the original version, which is the pop one, and there's the EDM one. So basically, whatever I feel like, I just change the style of the song, but it, the, the essence remains the same, which is to go away and discover new worlds. Hey guys, like it's here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can be notified when the next video of the diary is also out. You can also check some covers and you can also check out the official videos and the lyric videos for my channel. And don't forget to listen to me on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Apple Music, whichever platform you may think of, I am in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But don't forget to listen to me. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.